We are in Elko Island, also known as Galawinku. We fly in to vaccinate community. Today we're going to go out and get as many boosters as we can. Hello. Hello. You need needle? This is pretty much what we do. We just do drive-by um, vaccinating. We'll just drive around the whole community. People will yell out to us, yo, and we'll just stop. Um, and they'll tell us if they, uh, that they're wanting the needle. So we'll just pull up and, and vaccinate on the road, wherever we are. We are working hard to help the people in the community. Me Watch Health, working side by side with Royal Flying Doctor, helping people to understand and encourage people to get the vaccine, to make a better place, a better community for the people to live and work. With the vaccination, the hardest thing when we first came in was changing story. People on social media thinking that this needle's gonna, gonna kill them, you know, and it was hard, it was really hard to work with. But we came in and, and explained through using bubbles and, and techniques that this is how COVID spreads and just showing them that COVID will come to community and by having this needle, this safe needle, will we'll protect you, will protect us, will protect everybody. I found that the Yunu people are amazing. They are warm, they're welcoming, and it really is an honour and privilege to not only be invited, but warmly greeted and welcomed. Obviously, as time goes on, more people are vaccinated. At the moment, there's over 80% of Galawinku that have had their first dose, which is really good. Well, my name is Claudia Sinopuma and I've got three vaccines and that helps protect me and my family. Uh, it's good to have here Royal Flying the Doctor Service. Yeah, nice and easy. People from here are really transient. They travel all throughout Arnhem Land and the Territory. Um, hello! And it's going to protect them. It's going to keep it's going to keep them safe. They're going to keep each other safe by having those three vaccines. 